Okay, fam, how's everybody doing today? So we're in Montgomery, Alabama. We're at the um, Capitol Volvo here off of um, West Boulevard. So I'm actually uploading some videos, watching some YouTube and create more videos and create more videos. So we're gonna take a walk and try to bring y'all up to speed what's going on. So once again, watch a little YouTube. Let's go ahead and shut that down. Um, uploading some new content and we just recorded some content from just some of the process. So let's go take a little walk. We'll take this phone with us and we'll leave our stuff there. So this is the lounge here at Capitol Ballbar here in Montgomery. And I'm in the driver's lounge. It's a huge lounge actually. But the only downside about being over here, there's nothing close over here for us food wise. I tried to get some Domino's ordered and that was a disaster. So hit the vending. Uh, definitely not healthy, but I got my as you see over here, I'm, I'm all about this life. I got my push-up bar over there on the floor, as you can see over there. I'm gonna get back on it. I got my little push-up slash pull-up bar. So once again, very spacious lounge area. Let's go for a walk. So I had to drop my trailer. Thank goodness they had a place to drop it. So um, huge parking over here. Huge, huge, huge. But I dropped my trailer so everybody know what's going on with my trailer, so. Yep. So it ended up being a radiator. I put a radiator in there. This is a, this is a, this is a, an extension of, from yesterday. We started shooting yesterday. I explained everything. So the radiator, maybe two years old so that one went out it was an aftermarket radiator so the one that they're putting in now i don't know if it's going to be a all aluminum radiator um or not but that's my truck over there behind that eagle truck over there no i'm sorry that's my truck in between behind the quick care so they're working on it so they pretty much got it, it, it was pouring down rain this morning so we we headed out and got over here and they, they pretty much got right on it. I went ahead and picked up a, um, I went ahead and picked up a, a mattress, a phone, a memory phone mattress for my truck. Been overdue for a mattress. So since I'm over here, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. So let's walk out here to the, let's walk out here to the streets. So if you ever, for those who have a Volvo and um, you're in the area, so it's right off, I can't think of the name of this street. Is that Mobile Street? I don't know what name of that particular street, but anyway. No, it's West Street, I'm sorry, it's West. So it's right off of um, 65, but it's a good, it's probably about like, um, maybe eight miles down or so. But it's definitely, uh, there's nothing out here for its restaurants or anything for us grabbing something to eat and it's actually pretty busy over here as well too so i don't know if they got parking like that for other stuff but it's definitely pretty busy over here but but nothing does a fleet pride next door so this is uh west boulevard over there if you can see and this address here i think it's 185 i believe i think it's 185 west West Boulevard, across the street from um, Affordable Auto Sales, and over there is some kind of lift. I also see some um, heavy equipment across the street over there. Look like there's some. Um, the yellow is kind of maybe caterpillar, and. Fleet Pride right down the street and then next door it's a um, BJ Hunt I don't know if that's a terminal or whatever but anyway so for all the newbies in trucking why am I making this video it's um when you think you're on top of everything you think you pretty much got everything nipped up bundled up or whatever be prepared for the un um, for the un unexpected. So just be ready to rock and roll. Always keep your line of credit. Keep you some. They say cash is trash. Cash is always good. You get a good cash price on different things. Uh, thank goodness I didn't have to um, get a tow. 
So we went ahead and drove it over here. I dropped my tank and it's, it's in the shop. So I've informed all the personnel. I informed my terminal and then the terminal that I picked this load from. So everybody know what's going on and we'll continue on this journey and be back home by the weekend that I'm absolutely excited about. Excited about getting back to the Gulf Coast. But one thing I've learned in this business, like, um, you know, take everything with a grain of salt, learn as much as you can learn about the business. Don't beat yourself up too much, but don't keep making the same mistakes over and over. So that kind of sucks. So, but um, other than that, we're blessed. We're extremely blessed. So we're gonna knock this out. So I kind of explained the kind of, I kind of explained yesterday how all this is going to go. So, so you never count your eggs before they hatch. So, and we'll pick up this probably, I mean, we, we way ahead of the ball game. So, but as far as the tab on all of this, it may take us a couple of weeks to recover. We'll be back in the positive, even though we're not, we're in the red a little bit, but not really in the red. We're in the red as far as this week is concerned. But in the overall scheme of things uh, for the entire month, we ain't nowhere near the red, so. But it's part of it. But we still gotta recoup this time, cause the one thing about it, can't get, can't get, um, can't get time back, right? And we all on, as they say, bar time. Time is ticking on everybody. So that's basically it. So I want to come out and give a, a, um, a, a update on the game plan and then give you like a small synopsis of what's to come. So we're gonna head over to Springdale. We'll continue on to Springdale, Pennsylvania. I gotta check on the weather cause it's supposed to get down to like 32 degrees. It's supposed to, so I gotta check on the weather and see. And once again, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to get this put out, but uh, our prayers goes out to um, the, the shooting there in Nashville. There was another one, I think in Chicago. So our, our um, but for the one in Nashville, for sure. So our hearts and prayers goes out to the students and the parents and all the loved ones and everybody involved with that. So it's just, it's um, it's been a pretty rough times here in America. So I don't know what the answer is gonna be, but um, our prayers go out and we pray somebody have a solution to this. Uh, it's a lot of gun violence. It's a lot of um, negativity going around. A lot of um, bad things happen to good people. So. And it really makes my situation so minute, minute. You know, it makes my situation, even being broken down in the trucking industry, it's it's so minute. It, it's not even nothing compared to that. So I uh, couldn't imagine how that could be. So once again, uh, prayers go out to the, the shooting victims there in Nashville and other places as well too. So y'all stay prayed up with that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, end this vlog and let y'all check out my girl for. They have her in there, so we're excited about it. So hopefully we get out of here today and we'll push on, but there she go, so. That's all I gotta say about that right there. Y'all like, share, subscribe, and I always tell y'all, y'all know what I be saying. Y'all be great, be great, be great. Is that it? Oh yeah. Give me your face.